One thing that I've dreamed of all my life. Is this the best buffet at Epcot? Princess DeBerry here. We're back at Epcot today in Germany because we want to find out if Germany does it best as your number one choice of foodie infotainment. There's a buffet. We're going to eat it. Remember, she's vegan. I'm not. Let's go get some food. Be sure to post. And yes, I'm wearing ears. Don't make it a thing. Weisse beer because I always get the dunkle. So I'm gonna start with the Weisse beer, and if I finish this one, I'll probably get the dunkle next. So good. It's like a 4.75 out of 5 beers. I love these, and then once you, when you order them or get one to go, they'll give you to you in like two cups. You can like double fist it when you leave. Cheapest drink at Epcot. I love it. This is the kind of mug of beer that would make Thor proud. Nice, big, swingable, easy cheers. I don't even care about what's in this. This is all about the act. That also helps that the beer here it happens to be absolutely delicious. It's like a nice, smooth, liquid bread. If I've ever tasted one, that is a four and a half out of five pause. Any day of the week, I would honestly come here for drinks. We're just these days. Like and then the dunkle. The nice dark beer. You can get this outside too with the pretzel, which is amazing together. Oh, it tastes like chocolate. It's a great dessert beer in my opinion. Four out of five beers. My fave, my tried and true, my buddy, my mountain goat, the goat, a nice leader of Duncan. Except no substitutes. Mm. A nice layered Dunkel flavor. Like it's somewhere, it's just in between, somewhere in between, if you never had the Dunkel, like a stout and like a lager. Definitely not anywhere near as better as like an IPA, but it's nice and drinkable. Uh, this is the beer that I always recommend that you get if you like beer. If you don't like beer, or you're like, eh, on beer, get the Weiss. This public is a beer, beer, beer drinkers, beer, and a recommendation from Dan. Five out of five calls. I'm starting with this beautiful salad here with a mustard dressing. I want that dressing on so many things. It is absolutely amazing. Five out of five. You need all the salads here at Beer Garden. So good. Here we have this salad with the mustard dressing. Now you dress this yourself, just like I hope most of you dress yourselves every day. I would hope. Except for the youngins, you guys are exempt. Uh, so as little or as much dressing as you like. Ooh, tangy. It's given grass bratwurst. I like the tang. Sinners, right here. 3.75 out of 5. We have this nice tomato salad with a beautiful onion. Cheers. It's so zesty and amazing. Literally, as good as Boma. I love this salad. I'm really sad I have to share any of my plate with Bear, but I'm glad that it's a buffet so that I can get more. Also, five out of five, Princess City salad. If you like tomatoes, this is a salad for you. For the tomato salad, giving me uh, like Ethiopian tomato fit fit vibes, but German. I like the citrus. And even though I said it reminded me of like tomato fit fit from like an Ethiopian restaurant, honestly, it's making me want gazpacho. 
like that tangy, bright tomato, like spring summer feeling, like fall feeling of this Oktoberfest. It's very tasty. Four and a half out of five balls. bean salad, which I thought was garbanzo beans and peas, but I think it's more than that. And I'm not mad at it. Probably one of the weaker of the salads, but high in protein, and I'm here for that. So I'm gonna give it a 3.75 out of five salads. I like it, I don't think Bear's gonna like it because of the amount of peas, but I like it. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat them, the more you hate green peas. That's just a personal preference. I'm not a pea person. Uh, I will tolerate peas in some dishes, but if I gotta taste them or feel that mushiness, I'm usually not on board. Hopefully, this is one of the latter. Cold, mushy peas. Very cold. Very mushy peas. Not my jam. I did not enjoy myself. It's a two out of five claws. I was on board until the second I got a mushed pea. And then I was, ready to run all over the stage and scream. I have this beautiful pretzel bun here. And special ass for Earth Balance Butter. So I'm gonna add some Earth Balance Butter here to my beautiful pretzel. And I'm going to eat it. Cheers. It's like a tasty condensed version of the outside Germany pretzel that I love and adore and get all the time. It's a five out of five. It is a princess city's item. It's great with the butter, the earth balance butter, but also with the mustard vinaigrette, which is amazing on everything. If it's one thing you can ensure yourself, the princess will get every single time she comes here, it's these pretzel buns and a liter of beer. Far less butter than the princess would use. It's a nice, consistent, nice crispy outside, soft center. Or roast. I'm glad they're not super salted. However, they're also like a bit of a chew. Like pretzel chew, so nothing outrageous, nothing out of the norm. It's just a lot. Smaller bites. It is a standard pretzel, no complaints, but also not as memorable as I remember. Right? Right. Two and a half out of five points. Thing. But Germans love the salad. This salad bar, even though like it looks pretty small, they stuff a lot in a very small area. I think you have like more salads than even we see at a place like Boma. Uh, this, all the salads. So we're gonna start with this macaroni salad. A nice, boring, the macaroni salad like your aunt brings to like the family dinner. Very mayo y. Stressing on the e part. It is your basic macaroni salad. You're definitely getting macaroni salad from it if that's sort of your jam. I feel like it needs a little bit more in it. Mind you, I took like a baby scoop. There are some like green peppers and there's also peas in this. Germany. You give us nice things like cars and you put peas in everything. Killing. Two and a half out of five claws. Next up, we have potato salad. This trend of like mayo-y cold salads. I actually like potato salad, it's made correctly. Big chunks of potato salad are my preference. This is what we have here. Hope they put some dill in here. There we go, nice big potato. Now I'm on board. Strong dill flavor. The potatoes are like properly cooked and they're like hard so you're like, you're to like chew through them. It's a nice tangy potato salad. That's a three and a half out of five claws. I would easily take more of that. Now if I don't know if they had this one last time, but it's a cucumber salad, which also looks to be mayo based. 
Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. right. Let's just go ahead and uh, dig right in. We're going to spear this like trident spearing a fish. And it's very drippy. It's like cucumber. And really thin, watery mayo. Killing me, Sam. I like cucumbers. I'm gonna let it pass. Two and a half out of five bucks. Sorry, vegetarians. This is probably where the fun ends because Except they have a sausage salad. Because the one thing that I've dreamed of all my life is a sausage salad. You got some greens in here. You got some nice thin slices of the sausage. I don't know if I would consider that salad. It's gonna work. The sausage and pickles. And honestly, I have no notes for that. Four out of five plus. Last up, we have this thing. All that it is, is a slice of bologna. And I don't think there's a meat on this planet that I hate more than bologna. Salami is close. Salami is very close. But bologna is like the super villain of meats. I don't know why you would eat it. I don't know why it exists. I'm sure there's a good reason. I don't really want to know why, but bologna is disgusting. I'm not eating this whole thing. There's no way. Tastes like an expired school lunch. I'm not saying this actually tastes expired. I'm just saying that I'm immediately triggered. But like when you went to school and I went to public school and you forgot your lunch and it was like whatever they had on hand for the day, it was going to be stale peanut butter and jelly or it was going to be like dry, terrible bologna and cheese sandwiches. Instantly triggered. For those of you who like bologna, it's fine. It's fresh bologna, if that's a thing. Uh, but for me, nothing but horrors. I would walk through a thousand like universal bug houses to never have to see bologna again in my life. One out of five. Beyond Brat that's super cooked, a freshly made pretzel that I'm splitting in half. I'm going to chop this Beyond in half here, and I'm going to stick it in this pretzel. And then I'm going to put some kraut on it that I got. Because what is, what is pretzel without kraut? And then... We have some of this mustard here. And I'm just gonna slap that on top too. This is a perfect bite. I am gonna share this with Bear, so I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, even though I am tempted to. Cheers. Wow, that is so flavorful. That is better than Fire Nooks, which is my favorite place to get brats on Disney World property. I think this is my new favorite like bratwurst meal. This is amazing. This is a five out of five. This is the princess of these item. This is how you need to eat your plant-based bratwurst when you come to Beer Garden. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You give the princess a pretzel bun and a plant-based bratwurst and she just can't help herself. You gave her kraut as well and then selection of different kinds of mustard. It's a given. She's gonna make she's gonna make a bratwurst in the bun. It's gonna happen. Nice tasty combination. You'll forget you're eating anything plant-based. The spices of both the brat and the mustard and the sauerkraut. Almost perfect. Four and a half out of five bucks. Next we have these beautiful potatoes. Let's go ahead and enjoy these. Flavored so beautifully. Germans know how to make potatoes. 
those are fire. They're a four and a half. They're 4.75 out of five potatoes. They're very tasty. Little potato wedges. I think potato is probably the person's second favorite next to bread. We love a good potato here. We respect the potato, most of all. Perfectly seasoned, perfectly cooked wedge. They can teach other places how to make wedges. 3.75 out of 5 plus. Next we have these green beans, which I know Bear's going to hate, but I like green beans, so let's see how these are. They're cooked, but they have a weird like flavor to them. I don't feel like they're a vibe for me. I'm going to give them like a 2.75 out of 5 green beans. I feel like I've had better green beans at like maybe Boma. Green beans, one of the many, 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 many banes of my existence. But I don't hate it as much as I hate Boma. So, take it as you want. Okay. And they're decently cooked. If they're not rubbery, they're already headed in a better direction. Seasoned well, served hot, and with other things on the plate, I would probably even forget they were there. Three and a half out of five plus. Here we have two whole different types of bratwurst. They give you two. They don't tell you which two they are. Just two different bowls, two different tongs. Got a dark one and a light. I guess there are two bratwursts inside you and it's all about the one that you feed or some mystical proverb. You don't know where we're going with this one. It's smoky, deep flavor. That one feels like, it's not, I wouldn't call it earthy, but more like deep meat savory. Three and a half to the five plus. As for the second bratwurst here, it's a nice little pink sausage. Your mind's out of the gutter, it's just a sausage. That feels more like traditional sausage. But still just as good. Given that one also a three and a half out of five. Then we have a nice flat pork schnitzel. I could have got it with the sauce. I decided not to. But just nice and flat. Beaten, breaded, fried. Nice tender chew, seasoned breading, which is key. Normally I find that pork is either like wildly terrible or amazing. This is slightly above average, even a four out of five claws. Honestly, I could have filled half this plate with just the snitch. Next we have the classic German meatball. And this nice braised sauce, get a nice thick meatball, big enough to make the Italy Pavilion jealous. And a nice savory meat sauce. It's like a, both a tangy and savory, and it just kind of works. Meatballs, five out of five claws, it's a bear recommendation. Do not skip the meatballs. So we have their seasonal fish. This time it's a salmon. I think there's a salmon every time we come, but maybe season different season. I worry about buffet salmon, buffet fish period, because fish under a heat lamp will dry out very quickly. It's something, especially as thin and delicate as salmon. This is approaching dry, but still plenty of moist to eat. Be nice, got a nice crust on it, flaky center. It's a good fish, but I've had better. Three out of five. Points. Next up, we have the roast chicken. Nice roast, looking almost rotisserie with that color. Look at that. They have all different types of pieces. You get a whole like drumette and wing if you want to. I just got a little meat chunk, just enough to get the flavor in it with the color. I can get on the fork with the skin. There we go. Definitely like slow roasted. Very moist, very flavorful. When they tell you about great chicken, the halls of great chicken, that's where this chicken resides. 4.25 out of 5. Bountiful red cabbage. 
Beach. Cheers. It disintegrates in your mouth and it has a nice cinnamon taste to it. I like it. It's really good. Um, it's like a good little dessert item. I'll give it like a four out of five cloves. It's very clove forward. Nice red cabbage, cooked down, reduced. I'm not gonna say red rum reduction because that's the princess's like favorite term. That's good cabbage. I love a good cooked cabbage. Honestly, I can eat cabbage all day. A nice, sour, crunchy. There's something about it. it just hits the spot. 3.75 out of 5. some peas and carrots which after I try it for the YouTubes I'm probably gonna add some earth balance to it and it'll be better to bears poor pea hating heart bears gonna hate that it tastes like straight peas if you like peas you'll love that if you don't like peas you'll hate that I'll give it a 2.75 out of 5 peas it's Perfect. For the life of me, I don't understand why you'd ruin perfectly good carrots with peas. Children, listen to Bear and eat your veggies. Even if you hate them, at the very least, leverage the peas for dessert. If you leverage in negotiations with your parents that you'll eat the peas for more dessert, you're going to cave every time. Two and a half out of five months. Now we have a beautiful potato pancake and I'm gonna put some applesauce on here because it's like one of the festivals. That's what you do when you come to Germany and you eat one of their potato pancakes. You eat it with applesauce. This is the way. If you don't, what are you doing with your Germany life? Cheers. Oh yeah. This is so good. Mm. Mm. Nice, crisp, thin potato. The beautiful, sweet applesauce. This is a match made in heaven. I will give it a 4.75 out of 5 potatoes. Almost as good as the latke, but not as good. Because really the latke reigns supreme over all of this. So you're going to give the potato pancake. Now, there are those of us in the community who have let us know before that the potato pancake that you get in the festival booth is not the correct consistency of potato pancake. Out there, it's more like fancy hash browns. Here, you get a nice, actual, thick, consistent pancake, as it should be. Crisp on the outside, soft on the inside. The ones in Vessel Booth are more soft than anything. Even soaked with the applesauce, it's still plenty crisp. I mean, that spice of the apple on top. That is a good buffet item. Four out of five plus. It's always funny to me the number of ways they will cook potatoes here. So this is, unlike the potato salad I had earlier, this is the warm potato salad. <laughs> Cooked down potatoes in a potato salad form. Much different flavor profile than like the mayo-based potato salad. This is more of like a mustardy potato salad. If you are anti-mayo, these are potatoes for you. Behind door number two. 3.75 out of 5. Okay, still be in the spatula. Spat, 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 spat. Nice. Yeah. Put on the fork. It's like German cereal. Not really. It's just one of the more unique dishes there. Try out your palate, try something new. It looks weird, but it might taste good. And don't spill all over your clothes like I do. It's like 
macaroni with no sauce. Crazy. It can use the sauce or not. It's good. It's herby and pasta -y. Three out of five. Next up, we have the. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, I'm gonna butcher it, but it's basically like a German pot roast. Starts with an S. I'll give you that. It's S, there's some P's in there, I think. As in letter P. But nice roast beef in a sauce. It really just tastes like a beef, like a pot roast. It's like reduced down with a wine sauce. It's very tender. It's like a. Go back to like the movie Labyrinth. I think the bog of eternal, the bog of eternal stench. If it looked good and tasted good, and that's what the pot roast is like. That probably didn't set appetizing the least, but trust me, try it anyway. Four out of five. Bucks. I will say your experience at the meat carving station at any Disney World buffet is going to depend greatly upon who is carving your meat. And I mean that in the most wholesome of ways. I got a fresh new roast one up there of the pork loin. I got an end piece, but I got the thinnest piece of pork you could have possibly have cut me. This is like the end piece of bread you get in like a new loaf of bread from the store. Like, I'm gonna eat you, but you could have made it a little bit thicker. Luckily, you can go back for more. The end piece is the best. You get little charred bits. They have sauces up there that you can dip this in as well, but I wanted the pork in its peak form. This is given like Avengers level threat style pork. Four and a half out of five. Stars. Why not? A standard, boring, non-traditional, traditional protein cookie. It's a basic chocolate chip. I would have liked it better if it had been a raisin. Oatmeal raisin then. Three out of five pods. I'm gonna spare the princess. They have pineapple, which is vegan. But she hates pineapple and I love it. This is fresh pineapple, fresh cut, fresh slice. Perfect. Five out of five pods. Here we have the creamy black forest cake. This is a mess to pick up. Even the kids are fighting over it. And no, I did not fight children for cake. I waited for them to finish first. They had me until the cherry in the middle. But that's completely fine. Two and a half out of five plus. With the blueberry berry crumble. It looks crumbly, full of the berries. Look at those layers. Everybody, that was a mistake. I need that berry crumble with cheesecake. I'm only in for a bad time later. No amount of magic spells gonna help me with that. But we're gonna try. I'm gonna be in pain for 20 to 30 minutes. It tasted good though, so four out of five bars. Just don't try to fight your lactose color. So we have the brownie, the pretzel on top. I have no idea. We're just gonna lift the whole thing. Nice and dense. The brownie was absolutely delicious. Nice and chocolatey, nice and dense. Don't know those fluffy guards, a nice, dense chocolate brownie. Like, double down on the chocolate. Like me. Four out of five plus. The most German of Germany, apple strudel. Huge pieces, like this is pre-cut. 
and then they had a warm vanilla sauce to go on top of it. I have no knife, so bear with me. Yeah, there we go. McDonald's eat your heart out. Your warm apple pie has nothing on the apple strudel here. That beer guy. Definitely dessert you could easily miss because it's like hidden. It wasn't even like labeled. But the best dessert by far. Five out of five bucks. Get your berry compote on. Yay, yay. This is your thing from the line. Would be perfect on potato pancakes for dessert. Three out of five berry compotes. So we have the Enjoy Life chocolate bar. It is one of two desserts that you can ask for. I would love to eat it with the compote, but I'm just gonna eat it. So they're both rice milk crunch. Very tasty. It reminds me of another candy bar that I can't remember. That actually isn't vegan, but I enjoy it. I wish Bear could try it, but unfortunately that cheesecake killed him, so he's not gonna be able to eat any more desserts. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five candy bars. So this is the other option you get at bar at buffets outside of Partake. This is home free. It's a hit or miss. You're usually gonna get Partake, but sometimes you might get home free cookie. It looks like a little baby chips ahoy. That is good crunch. I love these cookies. I'm gonna give them a five out of five. They're a princess's item. Get you this dessert on the double. Love some beer garden, even if they're limited on the desserts. So the food is amazing. Is Beer Garden the king of buffets? I think we answered that question. I think you saw. What do you think the answer is? Tiki tucky, tiki tucky, oi, oi, oi. Definitely the best one you can get here on Private Beat. All you can enjoy a buffet style. This is the best of that pie. I am so full. Very full. As your number one choice of food infotainment, when things like this come up, we will definitely come out to find out for you. If there's something that we missed or something else you think we should do, of course, the comments will always be the place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and stay away from poison apples. Otherwise, the bear might yeet himself into the comments for you not commenting. You heard the girl.